Hi, my name is Melina. I'm a physiotherapist at the LifeMark Sports Medicine Center at the Richmond Oval. Today we're going to talk about injury prevention. We're going to show you the FMS, which is a functional movement screen used to evaluate risk for injury. It's used by a number of professional organizations, including the NHL and NFL. The functional movement screen looks at seven different movement patterns. The first one we're seeing here is a squat. Each movement pattern is scored from zero to three. The second movement of the screen that we're seeing Dave perform now is the hurdle step. The functional movement screen evaluates each movement for quality and it is scored accordingly. So we're looking for asymmetries as well as movement dysfunction. So the next movement we're seeing David perform is the inline lunge. All the movements of the functional movement screen are meant to be challenging to accentuate movement dysfunction. Here you see me taking a measurement of David's hand length. So as you can see, his first movement, he's within the, his hand length. The second movement is much greater. This is an identification of an asymmetry. With some of the movement patterns, we have a clearance test. So for example, on the shoulder mobility test, we have a test that we use for the presence of pain. If there's presence of pain, the score automatically goes to a zero and that person is flagged for further investigation. The next movement that we're seeing David perform is the active straight leg raise. In each of the seven movement patterns that we're evaluating, we're looking for quality and symmetry of movement. Here David is performing the push-up. We have a standardized hand position in order to again accentuate any movement dysfunction. Here we have David doing a press-up, which is a clearance test for any pain present in the lower back. The final movement for the functional movement screen is the rotary stability test. Again, we are looking at both sides to identify any asymmetry. Again, we perform a clearance test to identify any pain in the lower back. So that concludes our functional movement screen. All movement patterns have been scored. There's a threshold score that if the athlete is below that score, they are identified as at risk for injury. If they are above that score but have an asymmetry, they're still identified as at risk for injury. In that case, intervention such as corrective exercise is appropriate. If the athlete has pain with any of the movement patterns, they're flagged and referred to a further evaluation with the registered healthcare practitioner.